Hello, this is Edward Bai, and I want to talk to you a little bit about EFT. This is also known as Emotional Freedom Technique. It's great for a lot of things to help people, uh, like relieving stress, overcoming cravings, uh, like for instance, if you know anybody that's uh, really liking chocolate all the time and they'd like to get rid of that habit, that's something that EFT can help them to overcome. Uh, there's also uh, people with phobias, for instance, that uh, might need to um, overcome their phobias. EFT is good for helping them with those issues. Now what I'm going to do briefly is just show you the actual uh, acupressure points that uh, EFT coaches use in um, helping people to say things about their feelings and as they're saying these things uh, about how they'd like to um, get rid of cravings or whatnot, uh, they also tap on acupressure points at the same time. So it sounds like it might not work, but actually it does work quite well. As a matter of fact, many uh, famous people, authors, uh, actors uh, are using EFT as, as well as uh, various athletes have been using it and it's very popular in uh, England and uh, California, Australia. It's not too well known in the Midwest. So uh, I am very familiar with it. So I just wanted to let you know that it's very effective and I just wanna show you a few of the actual acupressure points that you can use. Uh, let's start out with uh, just tapping on the bottom of your wrist. This is called the karate chop point and um, as you do that, uh, your EFT coach can uh, tell you, you know, some affirmations to concentrate on that are very effective. And what this does, it helps your subconscious mind to more effectively uh, believe in these affirmations and it is much faster as far as the results you're going to be getting. So that's, that's one. Uh, here's another one. It would be the side of the eye, just to the side of the eye. Another uh, point would be at the uh, end of the eyebrow. Another one would be right here under your nose. Then we have right here uh, between your lips and your chin. And we also have uh, an acupressure point which would be the edge of your fingernail on your hand. And you just tap right there as you're saying your affirmations. Then you go to the next finger and say the affirmations once again. Then the uh, middle finger. You skip the ring finger, you go right to the pinky, and that's another acupressure point. Then the last one I wanted to cover with you is just tapping on the head. Now this all may look kind of strange to you, but it's been around for about 35 years and is very effective. Uh, Jack Canfield, the author that wrote Chicken Soup for the Soul, is on video um, telling people about how the technique works and uh, he's a, a firm believer in the technique. Bob Proctor, who's a multi, multi-millionaire success coach, he's been uh, giving seminars for years and years and years. Uh, he also is a, a firm believer in EFT and the effectiveness of EFT. Now stay tuned and we'll show you some contact information if you'd like to get started. You know the basic acupressure points. It's pretty, uh, it's actually fun and simple and effective. Uh, you just need to um, uh, get a little coaching over the phone or via Skype or in person if you're uh, in the Chicagoland area and uh, start get started with a, a one hour session. See how uh, you feel after that one hour session and uh, many people find it's very beneficial. Something like chocolate cravings for instance, typically uh, most people can overcome their craving for sugar or chocolate or sweets within three to five sessions. Now um, this really it can be great for your health and it's amazing that you just lose the desire for chocolate or whatever the case may be. So um, stay tuned for that contact information. Thank you very much for tuning in.